Hello everyone, just wanted to do a real quick update on the Yaw 2 Pro build. Um, got the Hotazes mounted. Um, things to know about this, uh, Thrustmaster pedals are very heavy on the front. I stripped all the hardware off. I used all the little hardware that I had laying around. I'm going to clean everything up later. This is sort of a mock-up. These pedals are heavy. They're worth it, but they're heavy. So what I did was... The seat comes standard with a bracket down under here. You can see, right, there's there's some writing in there. That is a weight, a 10-pound weight from a gym. There's two of those that are pinned down by that uh, twist screw you see in the center of the weight there. Um, that's supposed to counteract uh, any uh, heavy pedals, etc., etc. Um, it wasn't enough for these pedals. These are quite heavy, so what I did after two of those plates um, were used... By the way, I pinned the shoulder straps. These things that come through the seat, they go down and they go in between those plates in there. They look like this. It's like a buckle, like so. Pin those in between the two 10-pound weights and then put that little screw pin in there. So that holds these shoulder straps down. Perfect. They just go right down in there. Um, anyway, that 20 pounds of counterweight was not enough. So I found a weight. <laughs> I love finding random stuff to use. This is a weight from the front end of an old zero turn mower. It's the piece, I think it was off like a Toro or something, you know, to counteract the weight of the grass bags on the back of a zero turn because they're light in the front. This fit right in here, wedged it in. I'm going to tie it up better. I just got it zip tied, but it's actually quite, quite secure. I mean, it'll shake the whole chair, um, so I may not have to do anything with it. But uh, yes, now the seat is balanced. It'll, it's very easy to move around, whereas before I would tip down very, very fast. So that actually worked quite well, homemade. The other thing. Uh, homemade, which is absolutely remarkable. Um, the Hotaz mounts that Yaw came with are these things right here. And I'll tell you what, I mean, these are absolute crap. I don't know what they're thinking that you're going to get any sort of stiffness with a single bolt sort of interface like this and everything can like twist and turn. I mean, you can literally like bend these things around. It was just ridiculous. It took me like 10 seconds of my, I was putting my own bolts in it, trying to like stiffen everything up and it was just stupid. Do not buy these if you get a yaw. Skip them, make your own. Watch what I did. So I was pissed off about that. I went on monstertech.com Spent like 500 and some dollars getting side mounts ordered, keyboard mount ordered, all that stuff. But that takes forever to get here. It comes from Germany. So I was like, whatever, I'm going to the hardware store, my favorite place. And uh, I literally walked around and started looking for, you can see all the old yaw parts I just took off. These pieces are the little angulation pieces for the foot plate. These are not put on the bottom of that white foot plate very well. That and that are supposed to be, they come connected from the factory. And what happened was, you can see some like bond that I, I even tried to rebond it once. Um, I, I couldn't get the screw through and I ended up tapping it with a rubber mallet and the whole damn thing popped off like nothing. So like this weld or whatever, I don't know how the hell, I couldn't see any weld marks. I don't know how they attach it if there's some bond they use, but it's garbage and it should be weld, welded if they're serious about it. Otherwise don't even use it. In my opinion, you don't need it, it's just trash. You can see I bent the shit out of it, just taking it off. Junk, extra weight, don't need it. So. Like I said, that was all mounted under here. I just stripped it off. You can see that bond line. You can see where the piece was like attached. That's a, that exact line that where it's unpainted. 
not a weld mark in sight. I don't know how that's some electro weld or whatever, but it's weak as shit. So be very careful with these plates and stuff there. It's pretty thin metal for a reason. It's got a swing, so they want to keep it light. But they pushed it a little too far with that. So I just modified everything. And now it's a tank. I drilled through their their legs. Drilled through washers, lock nuts, so the whole bit. And then up through here, you know, things not going anywhere now. So that's good. Um, other things to know. Okay, here's the kicker. So they're shitty Hotaz mounts. I fought with those for like an hour. And I literally almost just ripped one off. I was so pissed off. So off to the hardware store. I bought all kinds. I think I bought like 200 bucks worth of random brackets, hooks, bolts, nuts, everything that looked like it would be of use. And I was going through the like shelving section, shelving brackets, big box. And I found these, I, I just spotted them and I went, Oh my God, I think they'll work. And uh, here they are. These are those black, you know, modern industrial little pipe. You know, you got your floor flange, little right angle, another floor flange, right? And that's it. So I drilled holes. I figured out, and this is positioned correctly, by the way, we we floated the joystick in the air and then figured out where the platform, this is, and this happened to line up perfectly. So this isn't just, yeah, hopefully it feels good. This was here and we built the system under it. So the joystick, you put your joystick in the right place first, then you figure out how to attach it. You don't attach it and then hope that it feels good. Do it the other way around. Float it, have somebody sit in it, hold the joystick in the air, just float it. And then go, okay, I need a platform here. Now, how do I get a platform here to connect to here? Voila, right? So I just drilled holes wherever through here, bolted it up. I used random stuff that I had from like computer builds. I'm going to clean all this up, um, you know, and synchronize or whatever, all the bolts, make it pretty. But it's actually quite good. If you'll see, look at this. These are, the, these are like five bucks a piece. 500 and some dollars for Monster Tech or 250 bucks for this from Monster Tech. And I shit you not, this is probably lighter and stiffer. Watch this. I'll literally move his whole chair. I mean, that's as stiff as it gets, right? It's not, there's no give in it whatsoever. It's, it feels like it's absolutely bolted because it is. You know, can't get any simpler or lighter than that. So all this craziness, you got to just get creative, man. And it doesn't even look bad. It just jives right in there nice and light. So that's pretty cool. Again, you know, like this is, the seat has USB plugins. So the seat will rotate 360. So you can't have any cords hanging down on the floor. This is the haptic connection. We have a haptic seat right here in front of the racing seat, but under all the seat belts. We also have a butt kicker mounted down there. I haven't wired anything yet. So that ought to do it as far as uh, vibrations go. I have another mini butt kicker right here that could easily be mounted on that, you know, back of the seat or whatever, but I'm gonna try it like this. That might be a plenty. Um, left side, same deal. There's your lawnmower weight stuffed in there with another 20 pounds. You probably got 45 pounds to counteract that to get this level uh, to sit nice. Again, there's your, you know, little uh, bathroom sh open shelf bracket. Random stuff just put in. I haven't got it all together. Again, stiff as stiff can be. You know, move them up and... It doesn't move, and it's just simple, right? It was, it's nothing to it. That's just a zip tie I had to hold it still while I was doing it. That'll all come off. And But, yeah, so everything is going okay. What we need to do now is figure out how to get a keyboard mount. I have an idea for that. 
Um, what I'm going to do, I have this bad boy right here. The rudder used to sit there, and then you have your, you know, joystick, keyboard, throttle. That's a keyboard stand there. There's a top of the keyboard stand that would, you know, go into there, and you could rotate it all around. This is a really nice unit if you're not doing a, a motion chair. Definitely get one of these. These are like 180 bucks. They are awesome for adjusting pretty much everything. You can just, you know, imagine sitting in here. Your rudders are down there. You can move everything. What the plan is, though, I'm going to take this thing apart and take this little keyboard post. I think I can take all this apart and then just get this part right here. And then that thing. And then I'll figure out some sort of bracketry to get it mounted on those two guys down there somewhere around the butt kicker. And then the idea is to have that plate and then have it swing back and forth. So like the keyboard, you know, would be here. The bracket will be straight back though. And then have the keyboard floating here and then have it on a post that swings up, right? Swings down, swings up. And that way you can get in and out without any crap. And your keyboard is here. There's no other good place and you want to get it centralized because it's spinning. You don't want shit hanging all over any, you know, centralize your mass as much as possible. So that'll work well. A swing thing with a pivoting keyboard mount. Just turn it however you want. The thing is on a ball joint anyway. That thing will rotate, whatever. And then that will work well for that. Um, that is, I think, all I have for now. Lots of uh, trial and error here, so but it it uh, it should be cool. I can't wait to uh, actually get it running. The what we got to do now? I've started to dewire the. I had this all nice and neat before, but I'm starting to dewire and figure out the slack and the cords. This has to move. This was we used to sit more forward, but I got a little hook situation these are cool you got to get these like spring loaded like janitor keychain clips or whatever they are so that's gonna have to move back and then go straight up above his head somewhere up in the ceiling right there we got plenty of slack in the cord so i just move that over and then so it's straight down and then you can figure out with tension you can use zip ties and stuff so you can get it to like stay where you want it to so it doesn't this black cord won't slide back and forth through here. You can do whatever you figured out. And then what the idea is to get the cord to sit about like this. You want it like neutral so it's above his head. Something like that. So he can swing all around. I'm going to have to do a lot of slack with this chair being that it's going to be rotating everywhere. But that's the idea. And this is a little safety system slash give you a little break if it's tight. Because you don't want extra cord, but you also don't want it to be tight and whatnot. So this gives you best of both worlds by having an extender. So other than that, yeah, it's coming. So the other cool part, this is a key thing if you're uh, into flight sims. I figured this out. This thing is like a pedal extender for an old X56 uh, set of rudder pedals, actually. And this is a left-handed mouse off Amazon. I had some old stickies on here, but here's what you do with these things. This is so much better. I've seen everybody put their mouse over by their flight stick. Oh, I need my mouse by my right hand. No, you don't. You don't want it by your right hand if you're flying. If you look down here, you'll see where I had it. I had it stuck on there. These are like double magnets. I gotta redo all this because I tore it up. But the idea, what it does, See if I can get it to stick on here for a minute. Let it go, Jack. But you'll see, like, I'll obviously secure it. But what it does is allow you to control your mouse and flip your hand to your mouse and back and forth while leaving your hand on the stick to fly. You don't need your hand on the throttle all the time. You need your hand on the stick all the time. So that way you can run your mouse and your stick at the same time rather than having it on the right side and having to pull your hand off or cross hand. Think about it, it's obvious. So we'll get that, we just gotta reattach it. So definitely get a left-handed mouse if you're fly.
So yeah, I'll figure out how to get this keyboard situation done. But yeah, the the ten dollar uh, big box solution is unbelievable, though. I mean, holy cow, Monster Tech! You got to be kidding me! You want five hundred bucks to solve this problem? Nah, I don't think so. Just use your heads, guys. All right, I'll keep you posted, and uh, we're getting there. All right, take care, guys.